I was in the ring with Jericho, and they started chanting, you still got it. Yes, yes. You remember that? I, I do, was, of course. I, I was in the ring, and I looked at Chris, and I said, what are they saying? And he looked down, and he said, they're saying, you still got it. Would Ricky Steamboat in his prime beat Roman Reigns? Let's talk about it like wrestling fans. You know, I don't. I never had a problem on doing the honors. I know that. Bill. I never had a problem doing the honors. My goal in every match, especially when I finally made it up to the main event status, the caliber of a main event guy, my goal was to have the match of the night. I found out earlier that when fans go home, because this is what they're telling me, and they're right in the car. They say, oh, you know, Ricky lost. Oh, oh man, you know, where's he going to go from here? No, they they talk about the moments of the match. Oh, do you remember that part where Steamboat came off the top? Oh, my God. And then so they moved out of the way. Oh, man. And then it went, they talk. So if you get the match over, both guys win. Yes, and that, absolutely. Absolutely. That was always my goal, Bill, was to Three make sure... Part. Make sure, you know, I could count on one hand how many times I beat Flair. And we had probably wrestled each other 400 times. But I, and I would have come to see it 800 times. They were so, you know, classic. but it, it, it was the match that kept the fans coming back. It wasn't that he won or I won. Like I said, I, I could count on one hand how many times I got my hand raised. Oh, yeah. It was like, darn, I thought Steamboat had him. Yeah. All of a sudden, Flair's up there with the belt. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't know how many 60-minute Broadways, but everybody kept saying, Ricky, if you had one more minute, you would have won. Yeah, uh, that's, that, and it's true. Right. right. Um, what would you like to, uh, before we end this, what would you like to look in the camera and say to uh, the fans that have loved you through these years? You know, um, a lot of people hear stories about how wrestlers are doing, whether it be health-wise or financially. And um, even with the brain bleed, I seem to be, I feel like my health is, is pretty darn good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a big hesitation on doing the match that I just recently had, but I told the guys, I said, I'm not taking any bumps. I'm not going to jar the, the noggin. Yeah. You know, we're not, we're not so they were, they were, they had they were good guys. They understood. But also I'm in a good place here with my home here, um, right outside of Knoxville. Uh, my wife is from Oak Ridge. She worked at Y12, which is the nuke nuke plant. Mm -hmm. I tell everybody at night she glows. <laughs> she could wrestle for glow. All right. <laughs> yeah, wrestle for glow. Yeah. But um, I wouldn't have any of this. None of this. The the house and, and my hobbies with the cars and um, with, without the fans that have come out over the years. And even when I finished wrestling, they continued to come out and support me with, you know, uh, Russell Khan and the conventions, Comic Con, Dragon Con, you know, they had- uh, Perfect for you. Yeah, that was at, in Atlanta. So, um, and it, 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 it's kept me busy. And uh, finally, after 47 years of being going somewhere and doing something for the business, um, I'm taking next year off. But it's oh, only because wait, wait, you know, a stay at home grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In so many words, you know, I'm going to stay busy. Right. I like to do landscaping and I work in my car and doing stuff like that. But uh, uh, I owe a big gratitude of thanks to the fans that um, actually bought everything that I own right now because of the way they came out and supported yeah. me and the other wrestlers. Um, as a representative of the uh, fan community, I'm going to give the chant that they all do. You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve and, it. Yeah. You're, you're I'll right. never forget. I'll never forget the chant when I was in the ring with Jericho and they started chanting, you still got it. Yes. Yeah. Remember that? I, I do. Was, of course. I, I was in the ring and I looked at Chris and I said, what are they saying? And he looked down and he said, they're saying you still got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Ricky, I, um, I want to thank you so very much for being yeah. here after chat and, uh, 
as I always say, um, as I always say, uh, if you would mind pointing out to the camera, I'll see you at the matches. I'll see you at the matches.